morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you watch this. How's it going, guys? For some reason, the intro didn't record. This is how to play the hype on guitar. If you're a returning visitor to the channel, hello, my friends, I have missed you. If you're new to the channel, hi, my name is Justin. I like playing guitar as well as music in general. And every Thursday on my channel, it is 21 Pilots Thursday. These are primarily going to be lesson videos like the one you're watching right now with the occasional cover thrown in there. These lessons are either going to be on guitar, bass, or ukulele. So while you're here, let me know down in the comment section below any sort of 21 Pilots lesson you want to see. You want to see how to play kitchen sink on guitar? Don't worry, that is coming in the near future and we can absolutely do that. You want to see how to play Chlorine on bass? Sure, we can do that. You want to see how to play a song on ukulele? By all means, we can do that. I also want, while you're here, go to the channel and see what lessons we've done already in the 21 Pilots playlist. Anyway, let's go and learn how to play the hype. Nice to know my kind will be on my side. I don't believe the hype. And you know your terrible sign. You'll be just fine. I don't believe the hype. God damn. As per usual, we are going to be in standard tuning today, and today we are putting the capo on the second fret. Now, this isn't going to be a long lesson at all for two reasons. Reason number one, the same chord structure repeats throughout the entire song. Reason number two, it's only four chords. Technically, you can make it a three chord song, and I'll show you what I mean. So, we're going to start off on a C chord. From there, we're going to go to a G. From there, we're going to a D. D suspended 4, which is just putting your pinky on the high E string 3rd fret, so right above your middle finger. And back to a normal D. So once again, C, G, D, D suspended for regular D. So you kind of hear when I was tapping on the guitar, you can hear how it sounds in context. Now to make it a, just a normal three chord song, don't do the D suspended four. Personally, I think it sounds better with the D suspended 4 in there, but it's a really simple simplification of the song, so it's really not that bad. So if you want to do the D suspended 4, hey, all power to you, that's what I like to do. If you want to do a regular D, hey, not judging. Uh, whatever way works best for you, that's the thing that matters the most. Now I'm going to bring you over to my right hand to show you what I'm doing with the strum pattern, because like I said, the whole entire song is C, G, D, suspend, regular. practice with the original song and who knows you may even come up with your own strum pattern that's unique and 
very different from what I'm doing. But personally, if you like doing it that way that you came up with, by all means, go ahead and do that. Personally, there's nothing more fulfilling than going, listening to a song, and figuring it out piece by piece. It's super, it's complicated, trust me, it takes some time, but it's super rewarding. Like, even if it's something little like a strum pattern, it's super nice to figure out. You can also go and listen to the song and figure out if you want to add some spice to it. And here's what I mean by that. First off, I want to say there's nothing wrong with doing that strum throughout the entire song. But for example, if you want to do the strum during the intro and the chorus, you can do some stuff like arpeggiate the chords, uh, yeah, arpeggiate the chords during the verse. <laughs> And then, like I said, do that during the chorus. Nothing wrong with that. Another thing you can do is what I call Ed Sheeran it up. Is that what Ed Sheeran does? I don't know. To me, it sounds like very Ed Sheeran y. But go listen to the song, practice the strum with the song, figure out if you want to add spice or not. Like I said, there's nothing wrong with making a song completely strum, there's nothing wrong with adding some spice to a song. Completely fine either way. And that is basically how to play the hype. Like I said, super simple lesson, not that complicated. And if you like this video, let me know in that like button down there. Hit that like button or whatever the kids are saying these days. If we want to see Antonio Pius lesson, let me know down in the comments section below as well as what instrument you want to see it on. If you say no instrument, we're going to default to the guitar. Also make sure to subscribe for every Monday a new random type music guitar related video and every Thursday for a 21 Pilots video. So guys, until next time, goodbye and good night. I'm going to end this video now. Literally recording, it's 9.13 in the morning. <laughs>